Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? This is Ray. Got a great tutorial for you guys today. I want to show you guys how I screen capture, how I record audio, how I make my tutorials. Want to share it with you guys. Let's get right into it. All right guys, over here we have Cam Studio. This is the application that I use to capture everything on my screen. Let me show you some of my settings. It might help you guys out. Over here we have Microsoft Video One. The quality is at 200. Set keyframes every 30 frames. Capture frames every 50 milliseconds and playback rate 20 frames slash second and over here just leave it at default i don't have auto just checked okay now in regions you could use any of these usually usually i like to capture at full screen you could do window fix regions or regions all right guys i'm going to show you the hardware let's go all right guys over here we have the project mix m audio this is one of my interfaces now it has eight microphone, eight faders, one master. Over here you have play, record, stop forward, and rewind. A lot of other options. I don't have a lot of time to get into that right now. In the back of this, it has four outputs. Now one of the outputs, I'll route it to another board. Let me show you the other board. All right, guys, over here we have the Mackie Pro FX8. Has five faders. I don't really use all five of them. Over here it has four uh, XLR connections. Now the first channel, is for my microphone. The second one is for my computer. So from the project mix is going into the second channel. I have to capture the audio coming out of the first computer. And then over here we have the outputs right here. See it's tape out. I know I have it on tape out. Actually it works pretty well. And it's going into my second computer. And in the second computer I'm monitoring all the levels and all of that. So now let me show you the second computer. I'm using a second computer. I built this computer a couple of years ago. All I use is computers for audio and for video. So I have an Emma audio interface. Now from that Mackie, the output's going into this interface. And I'm recording everything using Audacity, which I'm going to upgrade to Reaper. Then I save everything, export it, send it to the network drive, and then take it to my PC. All right, guys, here we go. This is 350 gig, accessible by any of the computers on my network. Now, I know this really has nothing to do with it. I just want to show you guys. In the bottom, I have a Netgear switch. 24. I could put 24 computers in that sucker. Over here, I have my Linksys. Wireless. Don't use it. The wifey does, though. And I have my main router, which is a Cisco router. All right, guys. Over here, we have Sony Vegas version 9.0. Some of you guys want to know the settings. So now when you have everything imported, you want to go to File. You want to go to Properties. And over here on video, see where it says template? You want to locate the one that says HDV, 720, 30p, 1280, 29, 970. Very important. Hit apply. Hit OK. Now you're ready to render the video. So you're going to go to file. You're going to go to render as. You're going to create a custom template. So over here in save as type, locate Windows Media Video 11. And then over here, you're going to select custom. Now over here, you're going to see audio. You're going to select this, include audio, CBR, format, Windows Media, audio, 9.2, attribute, 128, KBPS, 48 hertz, stereo, CBR. You're going to go to video, CBR, Windows Media, video 9. Now this part is very important, guys. In the image size, you want high definition, 1280 by 720. Very, very important. Over here in the pixels, you're going to put 1, 0, 0, 0. It's going to be there. See the squares? Now, frame rate, I have it at 30. Video smoothness, you're going to have it all the way to 100. There's going to be check here. Bit rate, internet slash LAN, I have it at 4 megs. You can play with that. That's all up to you, but I recommend four or higher. The higher you go, the bigger the file size. Over here on index summary, you can skip that. Project video rendering quality. Put it at best. Select best. You're ready to go. Before you do anything, you want to save the template. So over here, you're going to type whatever you're going to type. HD1. And over here, you see a little floppy. Select that, and it's going to save your template. So now every time you're ready to render a video on template, you're going to see it like YouTube HD or whatever you call it. So that's my setting, guys. 
Hopefully, you learned something from it, and you can get those high-definition videos. If you have any questions, please post, comment. Now, one thing, before I render my video clip, I have to make sure that it's not distorting, the sound's coming out good, you guys can hear it. I use a pair of Yamaha HS50Ms. Now, I've heard a lot of videos on YouTube where the distortion is no joke, and you really can't understand what people are saying. And you want to avoid that. You want to make sure all your subscribers, all your listeners, could understand every single word you're saying. Anyway guys, hope you really enjoyed my videos. This is Ray, and I'm out of here guys. Later.